Hello everyone, Ken the Bearded Accountant here, and today I've got a review of 8 cents from Witherbeard Supply Company. Uh, what I purchased was their, and this is kind of cool, their Wilderness Survival Kit. And what you get in a Wilderness Survival, survival Kit are 8 sample beard oils. So I'm going to get into my review right after this quick intro. Okay, I'm back. So here we go. As I mentioned, I purchased the uh, the sample pack that contains eight scents, the eight main scents of the Weatherbeard lineup, and it came in this cool little tin. I don't know where the samples are now. I used them some time ago, but let's get into price. Uh, a one ounce bottle of oil from Weatherbeard Supply Company is nineteen ninety nine. Two ounce butter is seventeen ninety nine. Oil butter combos are $34.99, or if you want to pick up the kit that I purchased, that is $29.99. So let's get into the ingredients. This is a fairly long ingredients list with eight carrier blend or carrier oils. Starting from top to bottom, they are obsidian oil, jojoba, hemp seed, sunflower, fractionated coconut, meadow foam seed, shea nut, castor oil, and then fragrance. So let's get into VFS, viscosity, feel and beard, and styling. Now, Weather Beard is a straight up medium viscosity. Feel and beard is terrific. Weather Beard is fast becoming one of my favorite feel and beard oils with great softness and great styling. Okay, as far as the scents, first up is Embered Nights. Now, the scent profile description on this is a warm, spicy, and inviting scent containing notes of fresh tobacco, warm vanilla, earthy moss, autumn spices, toasted marshmallow, and smoked woods. This one I would imagine is a favorite for many. I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of his best sellers. For me, I got spicy a spicy tobacco scent with hints of sweetness and perhaps a hint of smokiness. I'm not much of a spice guy, so this was definitely not one of my favorites though I know enough to realize that it is probably a favorite for most people. Uh, the st scent strength was medium to strong, and the scent duration was eight hours on Embered Nights. Okay, and next up, and I'm going to try and go through these quickly, because I've got eight to go through, Lakeside Lodge. So the scent profile is a clean nautical and herbal scent containing notes of cr crushed sage, salty ear, driftwood, earthy vetiver, Juicy citrus fruits and fresh teakwood. Now this one had me completely stumped. I look at the description with all those different layers and then smell it and I'm just a bit lost. But for this one, I just, I got the herbal tones, perhaps some of the driftwood and teakwood. I like this one. I, I wasn't knocked out by it. It's a medium scent strength and for scent duration, I get about six hours out of this one. Okay, number three, Leathered Woods. And the scent description for this one is a bold, rugged, and woodsy scent containing notes of genuine leather, fresh cut sawdust, rustic barn wood, earthy moss, and musk. For me, this one is leather right out front and most predominant with an ever so slightly or ever so slight sweetness and even, even slighter muskiness. I definitely wouldn't call this one bold and rugged. I would call it a nice and ever so slightly sweet leather and it was a light scent strength uh four to five hours at six hours i could still smell it in my beard but it, it wasn't emanating from my beard okay fourth we have rustic ridge now the scent profile for rustic ridge is a cozy rich and luxurious scent containing notes of dried oak smooth caramel sweet honey dark amber smoked hickory and molasses this is a sweet woody scent if i didn't know better I would have imagined that the wittiness to be a slight muskiness. If you in, if you enjoy extremely light scents, this may be for you. I would say the wittiness is the base with the sweetness of the caramel and honey pushing through. This was a very well balanced, evenly balanced scent. But beyond that, I don't have anything for you. It's a very light scent. And for this one, I get about five hours out of it. Okay, number five, Sierra Sunset. 
Now, the scent profile for this one is a zesty, relaxing, and smooth, smooth scent containing notes of tangy lemon, juicy orange, fresh eucalyptus, smooth bourbon, warm vanilla, and toasted coconut flakes. I like how this scent is described because I, I felt like it, I could actually pick out a number of those scents. Now, for this one, the top note for me was a subdued fresh lemon scent followed by bourbon, vanilla, and toasted coconut. I didn't pick up any orange or eucalyptus. I'm sure they're in there, but I, I didn't get those. Uh, the scent strength was light, and I'd say this was about a four-hour scent. Okay, next up we've got smoked cherry. Uh, now, the scent profile for this is a dark, smoky, and fresh scent containing notes of campfire smoke, crisp birch, pipe cherry tobacco, rich oud, and red maple leaves. This one is one of my favorites. I haven't been one for smoky scents for two reasons. One is that smoky scents I've tried in the past were from companies that use essential onlys only. And correct me if I'm wrong, if you're using essential only oils only, what you're basically doing is getting a bunch of spices and then calling it smoke. Up until now, this is the first smoke scent that I've I've had that I really, really enjoyed. Oh, and reason two is that smoke is often paired with scents that really aren't my, up my alley. In this case, I really enjoyed it. I think of this as a nice smoky blanket mellowing out the cherry. Uh, hooray for this scent. Really loved the smoke cherry, and it's my first experience with the smoke scent that I like. Scent strength was medium to medium light, and the scent duration on this was four to five hours. Okay, the seventh oil, Southbound. Another one of my favorites. Of my, my two favorites were the, uh, the cherry and Southbound. Uh, the scent profile is a sweet, calming, and crisp scent containing notes of blackberries, sugared pecans, sandalwood, amber, and autumn leaves. What I really like about this scent is the black, the blackberry is out front on the scent. And in like, unlike so many other scents out there, they're, where their supporting actors are competing with the blackberry scent. With this one, all that other stuff, the, the sugared pecans, sandalwood, amber, autumn leaves, they're there augmenting the blackberries. They're not competing with the blackberries. So I really enjoyed this one. And I had a sample, forgive me, this was one of my two favorites. I don't know or remember what the set strength or duration was. I could make up some numbers, but that wouldn't be right. I had used these a few weeks ago and I just, for some reason, didn't make a notation about it. So, so sorry, but th a great scent. Last, Timber Trail. Description on this is an earthy, musky, and exotic scent containing notes of redwood, exotic oud, silver birch, teakwood, earthy vetiver, and rich soil. Oh boy, I had a really hard time trying to describe this one. There's a lot going on in it, on in it and it's all blended together especially well. Uh, the best I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to have to say that this one is as described. It's definitely musky and has a sweet woodiness to it. Honestly, I couldn't pick out anything separately in this one. My, my best and probably inaccurate description of this would be a subdued muskiness as a base with sweet hints, something like spruce in the background. And for this, it was light scent and I get about six hours out of it. Okay, to summarize, first I wanna say, as I was describing these scents, I felt like I didn't do a very good job. There are so many pieces to these scents and I really, I gave the best description I could come up with. When I tried these eight scents, I was, I was really surprised. The first thing that surprised me is how much I like the oil blend. I had tried the summer, summer series and really enjoyed it, but I was focusing on the scents. I think I might have done a, an initial impressions video. Never really spent a lot of time using the oils or thinking about how it felt in beard. I was more concerned with how much I liked the scents. So, I was surprised how much I really like this blend. The second thing that was that surprised me, I had only tried the summer series before this, and I somehow imagined that his scents were gonna be kind of loud the way the summer series was. These scents, in many case, cases, 
were very complex, layered and smooth, but not loud and boisterous. So that I just, I was basing my expectations on the summer series. So there you go. Of the eight cents, my two favorite were, south, were southbound with the nice blackberry right out in front in the smoked cherry with that smoke that I really, really enjoyed. And I'm dying to try another uh, smoky scent from Weatherbeard if I can, when he comes out with one. So that's it for today. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you think I did a good job, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more. And I will see you on the next one.